Hey there, welcome to my channel. I'm on the mission to hit 100,000 subscribers before the end of 2025, and your support means everything. So don't be that person who watches but doesn't subscribe. Thanks for being here, and let's jump right in. Hello everybody, yes it's with ya, and welcome back to another video on the Twin Place channel. In this video, we're gonna be talking about the fifth part of the Grow Garden series. Um, this video, we're gonna be talking about global restock. Now you guys are probably like, what does that even mean? Um, that's basically the fact that I'm so stupid and didn't realize that the seed shop is actually globally across all servers in Grow a Garden. So that's what something I just did not realize because I don't really play it. Um, but now that I play it, I realize that, yeah, that's something we need to fix. Um, if you're new to my channel, feel free to hit that subscribe button and turn post notifications. It means so much to me. I'm trying to get 100,000. If you're watching the video and you're not subscribed, it's pretty sad. But, um, yeah, I'm going to show you guys what we did. Now, if you're, like I said, if you're new to the channel, um, you can just go in the description and grab the link. Um, there's a whole kit on this and it's already pre-made some people might be watching this and making the game step by step If you are doing that that might be helpful or you might just want to wait till the end But it gets harder and harder. So I know there's so many more tutorials out there Of course, they can watch but like I said links are in the description now um, You guys are probably wondering. Oh, why can't I uh, make this a roblox model? That is because roblox is very dumb and doesn't allow you to do that I wish there were some like thing for like people who are um, Youtubers that allow it to go through but it doesn't allow me to because that were in the script so um you're actually going to get a link for google drive it's just growing garden fit robux uh m or like i said there's actually my kit right here so you can go and grab that um or if you want another option which is more reliable um is just coming onto here into my discord server and going into the girl garden kit updates it has everything in here and i actually post them earlier than normal so um if you want to do that i recommend it now um going into this so yeah, last time we just had it so it restock in the server yeah, and it's just for the client and it was this whole thing and i was like just being dumb i didn't realize that's how that worked so now um it's actually a server-wide um thing so i i mean i can just click play it's gonna be it's a little different when you do it in studio um the reason is because you're in studio so um, I already have it fired and programmed in the script to make it so it actually does it twice or whatever for you but as you can tell um it broadcasts a global seed restock stock saved to memory store um, and then studio mode and then yeah, there's this whole restock thing which talks about uh, the certain things So um, when you talk to them, everything is still the same. So you have really nothing to worry about everything's still the same But now what happens? Um, also, actually I did change one more thing which you guys will like um, what happens is uh, Basically This doesn't uh, this resets, you know goes every five minutes Of course, that's how girl garden has it and it's gonna reset globally and actually at the same time right now If someone were to join my server, let's say they're going to get the same time value as what it is right now. So it's basically like if they were to join at 4, 10 minutes, it's going to say it was at 4, 10 minutes. So it's going to restock and show them that the timer is this till restock. So if someone were to join the server when it's like 10 seconds left till it gets restocked, that's what's happening. Um, now, when this restock button, which I had to change, what it does is cliently. So we're the client. Basically, let's say I were to purchase some carrots or something, right? If I were to restock it, it's just going to restock it for me. It's going to restock that client for me. It's not going to restock the server. It's just going to restock it for me. Um, and it's going to restock. Actually, it's going to restock all, all of them. Um, but it's going to restock by what I mean is that is like, let's say you have like, you know, if you want to get the the ultimate seed that has a stock of one value and you buy it, you can restock it and get that one more back for you. That's how Girl Garden does it. Um, but yeah, so... It's this whole thing. I'm sorry I didn't do this at first. I just really didn't realize it. But let's just get right into this. So go ahead, grab that model, import it. If you go to model tab and you just click model right here, you should be able to import that file. Um, it's only a Robux uh, RBXM file, so that's how that works. Um, but I have the kit right here, of course. But yeah, it should just look like this. It should be a folder. There's a little readme if you want. You don't really have to. It's whatever you want. Um, but yeah, so let me kind of talk about this. So in the last video, we had a few things already in here. Now I'm just going to look a little different. So um Yours should be like this, okay? So ungroup and replace and start UI. So we have the shop script, okay? In the inside of shop, you go in here and put it in here. Now you can just delete your old one and put it in here. Unless you have a template, make sure you change your templates out. But um, you're good to just replace that old one with the new one and I already have it, so I'm just gonna delete this. Um, now remote events, you're actually good to just go into here, delete your old remote events and just drag this back into replicated storage. So um, we're good to do that. Now, server script service, um, we have the seed shop, um, and then we have the handler. Um, it's honestly kind of the same thing. I could have just done one folder, but there's some new stuff in here. So actually, now make sure that you just honestly can delete anything that was in server script service, 
and you're going to just add these into here. So going into this, um, let's just go over the handler maybe first. Um, I'm actually going to be changing this entire script. So for now, you can keep this how you want. It's okay. But we're actually going to be doing in the next video, probably talking about data saving. Um, that's probably going to be the next thing we're going to do. Um, so we'll worry about that later. But um, yeah, seed shop. So this is initialized for the server, uh, which I'll talk about. We have the monetization, which I will also go into this kind of, um, I think I changed something in here. I don't even know, but I definitely did change something. So um, yeah, I did. So we'll worry about that later. Um, and then seed shop service, of course, uh, um, get certain quiet. Oh, you know what? I need to actually uh, reprogram this a little bit. Okay. Well, oh wait, no, you know what? Oh yeah. I definitely need to change this. Okay. I'll actually fix that later after I post this video. Um, so <laughs> don't worry about that. Um, yeah, going into this, um, let's just look at this real quick. So seed shop service, basically, um, this is where we do the clump. This is where we're doing all of the global restock stuff. Now you guys are probably like, what is global restock? How does that work? It's just messaging between the two servers or all the servers. Um, and there's definitely a lot of different things with memory store and making sure that you aren't doing too much. Cause there's a certain amount you can actually do it a certain amount of time. Um, but yeah, we have a few variables. So yeah, stock memory and time memory key. We had to do that as well. Cause there was a time memory key that we need. Um, this is five minutes. I recommend keeping it exactly at that. Don't change it. Um, you can change it if you want, but don't recommend. It. Um, yeah, format time. It's another thing we did later. But what I changed here, now this is one thing you can touch. Now everything's done. You don't really need to touch anything at all. Um, you can delete print statements if you want. It's up to you. But what I changed here is I wanted to make it so in the stock range, you can actually just input them into a certain amount. So let's say you want to get prismatic, okay? You have a minimum of one and a maximum of one. So they can only get when the restock happens. There's an only chance of getting uh, one through this. You only get one. But there is a chance you could get one or two for mythical or one or three for legendary or in between that. So this is all in between. Rare is five through 15. So if you want to lower that, you can lower that. Um, and same for uncommon and then common. Uh, reason being is I want to make sure that uh, people are at least getting something um, for like common, uncommon, rare. Um, and then, yeah, the legendary does have a chance base. But these ones are always going to be filling. So they're always people are always going to be able to get them. Um, now, you can kind of mess with this if you want and change it how you like. Um, but honestly, I would leave it how it is. But yeah, honestly, maybe change the rare to like whatever one and like five again, the same thing. Um, but that just means that for sure it's going to be displayed because, you know, you don't want it out of stock always. Um, and that's where that handles all of this. And then we're actually printing to the server the stock amount and everything just to double check and make sure that we're getting that right. Um, save stock to memory store, though. So this is kind of what I'm talking about, the memory store service that we're using. Um, and we're going to restock the time. Um, same thing. We're making functions out of these, by the way. And we are going to do the get current stock, which is also what we use later into, which I'll talk about in it. Um, initialization. And get time until restock, same thing. Uh, and then broadcast restock. So this is kind of where we're broadcasting the restock to the people. So messaging service, publish async, global seed restock, which we're using that key. And we are going to uh, set it to true and just publish it. Um, so what that does is basically at this part where we use this function right here when it goes through, and publish async, that basically publishes this to all the servers. So you should be good on that part. Um, restock manager uh, message, sorry. Um, you should be good through here. And then initialize service. Yeah, so this is where uh, it goes through it. Um, this is the studio thing. You can get rid of this if you want, honestly. Like, I can comment it out. Um, you don't really need it. Um, but yeah, so basically, uh, message server, global restock. And um, this is where we do global and the self. And uh, we go through here. So yeah, and we're doing a task, a timer loop, just to make sure we're finding the seat shop timer. And uh, if there is stock, we, of course, sign uh, send this out here. But there always is, so we don't need to uh, monetization, yeah, so I need to actually fix this because as you can tell, I actually do this wrong. So handle dev product, it's actually sending the reset sheet shop to all clients. So that's actually going to restock it for everyone. We don't want that, so I'll fix that later. Um, this script, sorry, I'm like, top. this script uh, initializes it. And basically, when the player joins, we're going to go through another loop and a task thing, and we're going to get the current stock. And if there's a current stock, this is where we basically reset it. So we're basically firing the client. Um, and that's where we give the player the current stock uh, and everything like that. Um, and also as well as the time and stuff. So uh, when we go through, uh, yeah, well, yeah, basically that's how it works. <laughs> um, and then down here, of course, there's server restock events. So when it gets restocked and every, that whole event goes on, uh, we basically do that uh, same thing here. So fire client, everything like that. 
Um, now for this, this is the buy crop. So this kind of goes through uh, buying the crop, data store and all that kind of stuff. Um, I'm actually gonna fix this too as well because um, you know we're, we don't wanna deal with saving just yet, but I'll have to go through that and change that. Um, the shop script, you're probably like, what did we change in here? We changed a few things. We added a um, new like crop data and everything like that and player data. Um, the reason being is when the person loads in, we want to double check that the data is loaded. We want to double check what the data is. So like, let's say we want to check the seeds, um, and make sure that they are stocked and everything. Um, so yeah, if it's not, if it's not loaded, we're not going to let them buy anything. Um, but it should automatically load in for them. But, uh, going through here, I'm trying to see where I changed. Oh yeah. Right here. We changed this as well. So, um, buy crop, this is where you find the server. And then down here we do the stock amount. So what I'm talking about here is instead of getting and changing the stock for the whole server, we're just doing it for the player. So stock equals and then stock amount. So that's what that's doing is instead of doing it for the whole server, it's just minusing it from the player stock because you know you don't want to be doing it from the whole server because I don't. Hopefully that's not how Girl Garden does it, which I don't think they do. <laughs> um, and then set attribute stock amount. So that's where we update it and everything like that. Um, and that's it. Where we updated if i'm oh yeah and we just added a few more variables into uh into here to the data and uh, on client event and stuff but i'm pretty sure yeah that's that's basically all we did and data uh, data loaded um so that's it um there's nothing i can't really go too in depth with everything i want you guys to just kind of go look through this because there's so much i know you guys just have a lot of questions and are just curious how things are working just follow along. Um, I'll make sure the kit is working in the end either way. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're going to go probably into data saving in the next video, and I probably have to change up some of the code right here. So maybe I'll just do that before I upload this, and it might look a little different, but you'll, you'll understand what's going on. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for uh, watching. I'm sorry I forgot to do that uh, at the beginning of the video, so, but whatever, for now it works. We're learning. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, have a good one. Thank you. Bye-bye.